Hey everybody. Had a radiology checkup today and um, my therapy treatment yesterday. I appreciate y'all helping me stay in my home while I go through treatment. Uh, look where I am. <laughs> We've had two days of sunshine. Well, partial. I don't know if you can see it, but whatever. Um, and I made it down the stairs and outside my backyard. Appreciate the small stuff, y'all. I'm covering the microphone. There we go. Yeah. He said my leg being weak is part of where the treatment was done and could just take a little while to come back, although I'm still working and working at it and um, walking up and down the stairs and not cheating myself that when I get in the shower, I stand up for the shower because I can. Sometimes just do things because you can. Jump off the curb because you can jump. Because when you jump, you keep your jump. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't disappear or slip away in the middle of the night. Plus it gives you joy. That's why they call it jumping for joy, right? But there are little bees out here today. A couple of little butterflies. Um, they've been landing on my passion flower vine. They're called a gulf fritillary. They're beautiful. They, I first saw them in my garden when I was in Mississippi. But the passion flower vine is really good for anything of digestive issues, mental, digestive, discontent, anxiety, those type of things. I especially love the tips of the leaves, the top, like three little baby leaves. Really good. Um, I'm getting to eat a little bit. I can sit up now. Look, I mean, I felt my whole butt's like rolled forward. Here we go. But I ain't dead, I ain't dead, I ain't dead, right? <laughs> yep. Yep. Just keep going. I'll do what I've always done. I learn to walk again. I go back to drawing, uh, making jewelry. Those will be on the website soon. Um, well, yes, they will. Because if I can learn to set up, I can learn to do a website. And uh, that's where the products will be. Stuff that, you know, comes from the channel. And uh, it comes from my time in prayer and meditation in this life. For you, for me, for us all. Um, well, goes to show I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Because <laughs> that's my heart, y'all. Thanks for holding on to it while I made my way through that death trap. Yeah. The therapy is easy. Um, it's immunotherapy. He thought it'd be way more effective than the chemo. So it's something that targets the bad cells. And it's these bad cells that put on these fake labels that are like, I am your friend. Where underneath her, it's like, ain't no change here, motherfucker. You know, something like that. So... It goes and it rips the lie off so that then the sh those cells, those, um, those thieves, those mockers, the fakers, the pretenders, all that stuff, this medicine goes to them and knocks the lie off so that they can be seen for what they really are. And when they're seen for what they really are, your body just attacks it and takes care of it. So it awakens the immune system instead of suppressing it. So it's going a different direction with this. Um, so I'm probably three to four weeks since three, probably three weeks since finishing, completing radiation, maybe four. Um, I'm off all the, the druggy drugs. Um, still going through withdrawals from that. It's some intense stuff. Uh, when I realized they were making me a living corpse, I uh, woke up, you know. So still having heebie-jeebies from that stuff and no sleep, you know. I'm, I'm working and hacking away at the sleep. I'm 
Mom has me taking supplements and drinking kefir and eating dirt, some sort of dirt probiotic or whatever. I'm like, okay. So I'm um, trying to get my vitamins in. My nails finally just started to grow and not that like my nails, my nails. Um, I mean, that's great if you love them, right? But it was for me, they hadn't grown in a month. Um, so there's enough nutrition going in now that there's a little extra. Uh, I can see that my muscles starting to knit back to my bone on my legs. I don't quite know about my arms because I'm pretty much covered up all the time. Still getting pretty cold. Um, want to be warm. We need this heart to work right. Um, for my heart to work right, I have to be right. And something was like, you know the steps, you know the drill. It might be different pictures, might be different location, you know. But uh, you know the drill. You know how to come out of this. You have to do things that you love and things that keep you sane and stuff that helps you from being bored and that keeps you focused or um, believing or, or activated, you know. Because in order to eat, you have to make some food, right? So it's kind of like that. Your soul needs to eat, so you need to kind of keep your hands in it a little bit. You know, stay in touch with those things that do bring you a spark of life. Just like being out here and getting my vitamin D naturally. And that sun has been my lifesaver for the past 11 years. And who knows what's coming next, but um, it's been awesome having your love and support and financial support, like being able to get the supplement, right? Yeah. So no need to keep you unless you just love the sounds like that's Arnold Palmer and let's see that tree is Bonnie Pear man when Michael was here and he'd go pee on the tree every day Michael's the dog those pears the bottoms of them were literally that big across they were huge had this big giant black bear that would come and of course break branches but he would sprawl up in the tree Hitting up the hagen does like give me some Majora's prayers. It's so good. I even had a wolf slash coyote. Most Mississippi coyotes are very rangy and almost boxy. Like they're small and scrawny and like just they're real just rangy and scabby looking. But this one was large and it was not a dog and it was pinkish red. It was really interesting and like even the champagne was more of a a buff. It was really beautiful. And I could see it from my window. This was a handful of weeks ago. I like when the legs were still working. And I'm looking down. I'm like, Mom, look, there's a coyote. And she's like, that's too big. And I'm like, you're right. I guess it's a wolf. <laughs> it came and kiped a bear. Sure did. Sure did. I mean, because they, they go down to about five feet from the ground came out and snagged one and helped himself and just ran off real skittish like but had these pale blue eyes it was really interesting um so other than that have monarch caterpillars out front um the weather's warmish it's in the 60s today like i said i'm still trying to warm up this one day two weeks ago i got freezing cold and from that moment forward, we didn't have another patch of sun. And uh, up until a couple of days ago. And uh, that was really hard for me. We, we would have buckets of rain and talking you can't, you can't even see. And so it was really um, dark and hard. So now the sun's out. I might not be at the beach. But I got sunshine. No more cloudy days. 
Because <laughs> when it is cold out, like on my back patio, it can feel 10, 15 degrees colder in there. My courage was saying, step out, you can do it, step out, you can do it. You know what's going to happen as soon as you get in that sun. I'm like, yeah, well, look, there's chicken legs. <laughs> look at that stuff. <laughs> what ifs, you know. Um, so, if you hung around while I kept rambling, I love you. Blessings upon your soul. Blessings upon your spirit and your face. May your face be lifted to the joys of life. May you tilt your head up as if to an eager lover to just be kissed all over by the specialness of who you are and the beauty of who you are. May that touch you all the way down into your heart and into your soul because it's good medicine. Ask me how I know. You don't need those lymph nodes swollen around your heart. You need to let it go. Let it flow. Let the beauty of the simple joy that comes when you feel loved. I pray you feel loved all the time. Now forward. Forever now. Forever now. I love you, friend.